hi guys welcome back to my channel um so today we're going to be doing a collage um i've got a canvas and i've got some magazines that i've collected like some creative magazines and they've got some really cute illustrations in them so we're going to work with that and see what we can create if it turns out good i might use it for the house but um yeah so let's let me show you what i've got kind of what i've got in mind like i haven't got a set I haven't got a set um, picture in mind, but I've got a rough idea of, of the theme, like floral. Um, yeah, so it may, it's going to be mainly floral, leaf, leafy if I can. So let's have a look at what I've got. And then I'm going to start cutting out some bits and bobs. Um, I was struggling to find some glue. So I think I've got some glue somewhere. So we're going to, I need to have a look at some glue. But I think first of all, I need to start cutting out some bits and bobs because I need to paint the canvas so I want an idea of what colour I want to paint the canvas a light maybe a light green or a blue or a grey I'm not sure yet so I want to get an idea of exactly what bits and bobs I'm going to use for the collage and then I can paint the canvas the colour and then we can start arranging a, a theme and then I think we're going to do some collage and then I'm going to maybe add some like embellishments to it so let's see i'm just want to be creative and just do a little bit of experimenting so yeah let's go let's go and see what i got hi guys so back again um so well, so what i've done is um so this is the canvas that i'm using and uh, these are my favorite canvases windsor and newton artist canvas very good quality i always use them and they mm, um well that one's half price i thought that was going to be the price for you right so i've got a kind of idea i have already cut a few bits and bobs out so i want because i want a focal point for this collage so i've got like a sky background like a kind of window type thing i'm imagining and then i've got this image here i don't know if that's the right way hold on let me just yeah i think it's supposed to be that way so and I've got this kind of image here, which reminds me of myself, bun, tracksuit bottoms, it just reminds me of myself. So um, I picked this and obviously I like to do yoga, so it kind of like represents me. And so that's kind of like the focal point and then I would need to kind of build up the surrounding areas. So I have this, which um, I'm thinking of cutting these branches out and the birds only and then placing that in the corner, like overlapping that, like layering it there. I think that might be quite good. And I think I need to bring this down a bit. And then I have some plants to cut out. So we're gonna do this one for a corner. Don't forget this whole canvas is gonna have a background painting. Like I might do, I might do a blue actually, cause then it will kind of blend in. I might do a blue and then a kind of as if she's sitting on the floor, you know, like a different colour, as though it's a floor, you know, so two tones, like two sections, so like a, a blue and then blend it into a kind of another colour, so I can sit this image on and the plants, so I'm thinking of doing this plant for this corner, and then, um, let's get this one, and then this plant, I love this plant here, for this corner. And then maybe these small ones like behind her, you know, like layer it behind. So there's like, so it's layering, you know. So I'm not, I might just cut them all out and then just have a play around and see where we're at. So yeah, this is what I'm using to cut out, which if you want to do any sort of collage in, other than using like an um a paper cutting knife which i have got but i'm just too lazy to go and dig it out is these little scissors these are like sewing scissors but they cut out all the details so just using those so yeah i haven't managed to get the glue ready yet but um i've got my idea so that is the concepts that i'm working on so let's get these plants cut out and then i'm gonna do some more arranging and see where we're at then so I've um, cut everything out that I'm going to use and this is going to be the finished result. Obviously ignore this whole 
sec it's this whole um, label under here. That's just a canvas mm -hmm. label. That's going to be removed, obviously, once I get to painting the canvas. But so I've laid everything out. Let me just move that over a little bit. Yeah, because that's going to come like that. So just a little close up of the bottom. And then moving up. That's going to go up there. So it looks like it's kind of on the edge. Yeah, so pretty pleased with how that's going to turn out. So I'm definitely going to paint the canvas a pale blue, I think. And then maybe just do like a darker kind of area at the bottom just to highlight that it's the the ground but yeah but i think that that um cutting all those things out took a good few hours probably about three hours two to three hours obviously i did stop here and there because i had to do a couple of things but yeah it took a long time to cut those things out so i think that's the most um intricate and time consuming bit done um so yeah once i I'm going to come back in the next clip and we'll be painting the canvas. again this is a different day um, so I just wanted to show you that, I've, that the canvas is now dry as you saw I painted it so I've done all the um, sides all each side and I've got my cuttings here I've got my glue paste sticks this is the glue I'm using I got it from Amazon had some good reviews it's it dries clear I've never seen this before but I was looking for glue and that came up so I thought that would be the ideal glue and then I've just got this white pen because I just want to do a little bit of outlining 
and the pen is this one Sig Signo if I can focus on it is it focusing I don't know but it's Signa Broad Uniball so I'm gonna get these bits out and then I'm gonna arrange them um, on the board and then I'm gonna start gluing them down so I'm, I'm really excited how this is gonna turn out so once I've glued everything down I'm then gonna put a layer of um, Mod Podge but it's a Mod Podge um, like a kind of varnish type thing it's not varnish but it's like I'll get it anyway and I'll show you but yeah so let's proceed to take these out and set it all up also I wanna so that this little cloud background I want to just draw a um, outline of the the white pen around it this is that's that's the wrong side actually yeah this is the side we're using so I'm just gonna do like a little outline so yeah let's let's get to it and let's get this done I want to get this um, all done today that the background's changed well I changed it over because as you saw the sky background that I had in um, the glue just made it wrinkle up I mean this one's slightly wrinkled at the top it's not as bad and um, once I put like the birds and everything on top it's not really going to be as bad as the other one was it doesn't show up as bad so I'm a bit disappointed but I think I need some good old fashioned Prit stick like the actual stick because this glue is just saturating I mean it might be these bit these birds are card so we could use it on the on like the birds but the paper the magazine um, cutouts they're so thin that it's just making the um, it's just making the paper wrinkle up so um, yeah so I'm just trying again with this it looks worse on camera than it actually does on in reality so we're just gonna so just bear that in mind if you if you're looking at it thinking oh my god that doesn't look great it does actually look better than it does on the camera so I'm kind of just checking now to see how it's gonna be how it's looking um, in terms of that background um, I need to go around the edge in the white pen but pretty much <coughs> that's going this is just rough I'm just roughly get putting these in, in position um, put that there just to check how things are looking and
everything down and oh to be honest that was a palaver <laughs> but we got there in the end it's taken me so long to, to record this video um this is because it's probably my first no it's not it's like my first collage on a um canvas that's it my first collage on a canvas and um obviously there's the pressure to make sure that it looks perfect my virgo nature but anyway i'm quite happy with how it turned out this is dried so i left that back square to dry over a few days so it looks less wrinkled now so i'm glad i actually did that that wasn't on purpose it was just due to the fact that i got busy and haven't managed to get back to it but it's worked out where it's dried nicely um these should all dry dry nicely in the same manner so i'm going to leave this to dry for like a day or two it'll probably be a couple of days now and then i'm not sure i'm a bit nervous about putting coat putting a coat of the mod podge on um i'll show you the mod podge in a minute um i'm not sure if it's going to ruin it like i'm scared to ruin it after all that work that i've done and it's taken me quite a long time to do this so i'm going to leave this to dry and then have maybe do like a test area or like some testing because i would like to protect this with something um if you've got any suggestions below for anyone a bit more experienced on doing this sort of thing please let me know and um i'll check over the i'll check the comments over the next few days to see if any of you have helped me out in any way um but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to leave the video here because I don't because it's taken me so long to record this. Um, if I do decide to put anything on top of this, um, it will be posted on my Instagram at 75 Art Street. If you follow me there, I post most things there, and probably more things you'll see more on there than you will on YouTube of different things. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, um, and I will show you the Mod Podge quickly that I'm thinking of using and then I think I'll wrap this up so I can get this video out for today or tomorrow and yeah join me in the next video I think the next video I'm going to be doing is possibly a watercolour painting like a house watercolour painting I've got something planned but well we'll see how I get on with that um yeah let me go and get the Mod Podge so I've got the Mod Podge and this is it so hopefully you can see if it's focusing so it says that it's water-based glue sealer and finish collage sealant so basically gloss luster much pod gloss luster in case you want to know i got this from amazon um so i think it should work but yeah i'm gonna have a think about it let me know if any of you recommend that i do use it go ahead and use this so i'll give you some close-up de on the detail so as i said this picture just um this this um picture here reminds me of myself um kind of the way obviously like hair in a bun that's typical me i love i love yoga so it kind of represents me and then all the plants around you know like based on nature basically it's like just a serene picture so yeah i hope that the concept of it comes across nicely but i'm going to put this in my like office area upstairs once it's finished so i'm excited to finish this up and have it in my office area to look at but yeah i'm not i'll probably do more of these um i think the more i the more i do the quicker i'll be able to do them and also I'll learn more about what works and what doesn't so yeah I definitely want to do more of these but yeah anyway I'm gonna go now so bye for now see you in the next video